I don't get it, Johnny. About these two other guys. You mean there's going to be two other guys in on the deal? And we ain't going to know who they are? That's right. You don't know who they are, and they don't know who you are. That makes sense to you, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, I guess so, but I... It makes sense to me, all right. How come we need them, though, Johnny? What are they going to do? Oh, one of them's for the job with a rifle. None of you boys can handle that, even if you were willing to. And the other one starts the fight in the bar. These other fellas, how much are they cutting in for? Not that I mind. Anything you do is okay, but... These Where's... men are not going to be in on the basic scheme. They're getting paid to perform certain definite duties at a certain definite time. And they're not cutting in on the take. They'll be paid a flat price to do a straight job. Well, if they don't know anything about the basic plan, about the job, then why are they doing it? That's simple. These boys are straight hoods. They get paid in advance. Five grand for the one with the rifle and 2,500 for the other. Well, where's this money coming from? Uh, that's where Marvin comes in. He's getting the 7,500 for us, and he gets it back off the top. I wish I could do more, Johnny. It's almost not right for me to get as much as everybody else. After all, all I do is... Your money counts for plenty, Marv. You don't hear any of them complaining, do you? Sure, you're okay in our book, Marv. But look, Johnny, if these two hoods get paid in advance, how do you know they're going to do their jobs? I'll vouch for them. These guys are pros. They can't afford to weasel out on a deal. If they did, they'd be washed up. Okay? Okay. Any other questions? Well, let's take a look at this, then. This is a rough drawing of the track as I remember it. Randy, you'll have to get me an A1 street map of the whole district. George, Mike, I want you to go over this thing with me inch by inch.